Welcome to this video uh, on how to find the owner of a SharePoint site. So before we sort of jump into looking at how we can find the SharePoint site owners, let's talk a little bit about what the responsibilities are of a typical SharePoint site owner. So these people, they can create content such as documents and pages. They can delete documents and pages as well, as well as building assets out on the SharePoint site, such as lists and libraries. They can add and remove colleagues from the site and create restricted areas, including document libraries with folders, level permissions. Um, it's impossible for these users to be locked out of anything on the site. So it, what we're talking about really is people with site collection administration rights, and that means that they wouldn't be able to be locked out of anything. Um, also, they can configure site settings and the navigation bar of the SharePoint sites. So these are the typical responsibilities of the types of people that we're looking for in this scenario. Why should you have site owners is another common kind of question. So reasons for that is enabling departments to take more ownership of their data. So rather than having it all fall onto the sort of plate of the IT department to look after, it actually means they can take more ownership over their own documents and content. It also gives departments a super user that can answer the first line question. So typically these site owners, they're, they're what we refer to super users or champions where they, they typically have a bit more training the average end user. So this means that they can be a really good kind of first port of call contact for people within their own departments to answer questions. They can also make sure that SharePoint sites stay current and relevant um, and that there's no sort of documents or pages which are going stagnant and, and need to be replaced. They can stay on top of the document best practices, ensuring proper naming conventions and standards, as well as cleansing documents or archiving documents which don't need to be there anymore. Um, and also, in general, what it boils down to is that it reduces the overall amount of time that's required from the IT department. So rather than everything falling directly onto their plate, you've got somebody um, directly at each level. And this is definitely important when you're talking about um, even medium but large and enterprise type of size organizations. So why are you here? So why are you looking for a site owner? So typically people are looking for site owners when they want to discuss things like site storage issues. So it might be that some thresholds on a document library in SharePoint or a list has been exceeded and you need to be talking to them about how you can either reduce the amount of items which are there or creating some views to make it more accessible to access that data. Also, maybe consolidating some sites together. So more recently, I've seen that people, um, especially if you've got a very classic SharePoint structure and you're looking at moving this and consolidating it down, um, you might be a couple of different SharePoint sites which are very similar. Um, and you want to contact those site owners, uh, people who are owning that, that data to talk about potentially merging that together. Um, this also is part of a kind of pre-migration consultation period where, um, again, if you're looking at maybe even on-premise versions of SharePoint and you're looking migrating to SharePoint Online and Microsoft Teams, a lot of the things I'm going to be talking about uh, and the issues faced and some of the methodologies and ways of approaching this is all very similar regardless of if you're talking about SharePoint Online or SharePoint On-Premise. Um, as well as, uh, as it, maybe a site owner has left the business and needs to be replaced and again um, this isn't always an easy uh, challenge but you, you should be looking at replacing your site owners if they're leaving the business. So let's jump in and take a quick look. Okay, so let's take a look at some ways that we can try and track down who are the site owners of a particular SharePoint site. So the first thing is to consider is that really the site owners should have what we call site collection administration rights to the, the SharePoint sites. Um, and that means then they have their name officially listed against the SharePoint site as they are either primary or secondary owner of that SharePoint site. And it means we can actually surface their name against the site when we look it up inside of the SharePoint Admin Center. So that's our first port of call. Let's just jump into there. So to get to the SharePoint Admin Center, we're going to click on um, the app launcher from office.com. So this is the homepage of Office 365. So once we've gone to office.com, we click on the app launcher, we click on admin, and we'll, by the way, I should mention whilst it's loading, we'll only see that admin button there if we have the right level of um, Office 365 admin role to see that button. So this really only applies to people who have got the kind of Office 365 uh, admin center access already. 
Then once we're in here under admin centers, we're going to select on SharePoint. And again, we'll only see that SharePoint admin center if we have the SharePoint admin role assigned to our user account inside of Office 365. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on active sites. And this is going to show us all the different sites that we then have access to. Now, to then go and see who uh, is the site collection admins or the site owners, we're going to select on a site and we can select permissions across the top and then manage admins. And this is where we can then see, for example, here, who is the site owner for this particular site, the leave request site we can see here. I can check another site, so maybe I'm interested in the policy site, so I can select that, click on permissions, click on manage admins, and then I can see who's also the site owner of the policy site. Now, I can always choose to add and remove people by typing in their name into this box here, and that will then add them into uh, here as a, another site owner. Um, and, and we can also add, remove people directly from inside of this box as well. So this is just one way um, that we can actually find people who are the site owners. Now, this is sp specifically talking about SharePoint sites in this context. If we were looking for owners of, let's say, for example, Teams, let's go back to the um, Office 365 homepage. And again, we're going to go through to our admin center. And from there, we would then select, for example, uh, Teams. And this is now going to show us an area where we can see all the different teams that we have created. So from a site owner point of view, we've already looked at how we can find it from a SharePoint perspective, but what if there's a team associated to this as well? So we can go into here, select on uh, manage teams, and we can see all the teams we have access to. So let's say, for example, this Valto team, we can double click on that. And we can see all the people here which are listed uh, within the team. And by scrolling over to the right hand side, I can see who's listed as a owner within here. So we've looked at how we can find the site owners of our SharePoint sites. And we've also looked at how we can find the team owners as well. But say, for example, that someone's left the business and we're looking for a suitable replacement. Now, instead, um, what we can do is we can jump directly into the site from the active sites inside of SharePoint. So say, for example, um, I'm going to go to this control document site and I'm going to look at the documents to see actually um, who has actually been editing documents in recent times. So I can see uh, in the past few months, um, Hugh's been the, the most active on this site. So obviously he's going to be the relevant site owner um, for this site. So even if he wasn't necessarily listed as the original site owner, I could work out that actually he's using this quite a lot. He's maintaining the documents, he's uploading things. So actually he would be a really good replacement um, as the site owner for this particular site. You can do the same kind of approach as well um, by looking at the pages library. So if I click on the cog across the top and then site contents. So if there's not a lot of documents, there might be some pages. So you can always go into the site pages library as well and just see who's actually been creating and updating the, the home page uh, and other pages throughout the site. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, training packages, and pay as you go support that can bridge those knowledge gaps within your current team. You can email me at dougie at valto.co.uk and we also offer free consultations to discuss your specific requirements. We'll then give you a no obligation quote. If that sounds good, I hope to hear from you soon.